Today I want to share with you a trick on how to have the fastest cabbage for your fall garden. So if you have a really, really short season and you know you weren't able to get your plants started in time and the insect pressure this time of the year, the, the moths keep eating your brassicas, this is a way you can have a cabbage early. And I'm going to show you what I do. You see this big plant with all of these cabbages on it? That just seems unnatural. Well, what it is, is if you plant a piece of your cabbage, it will root. And as many cabbages, many cabbages, they're not going to get big. Uh, they will cluster and come off of it. And as you can see, if you do it big enough, I'm trying not to hurt. You see the see that? That's just a piece of cabbage that's still decaying, but it's set roots and it's got these beautiful cabbages on it. Um, now what I did, this is a part of the cabbage. And cabbage is not that drought tolerant in the summertime. But this part of the cabbage is so thick that it can take um, the summer heat. It's not gonna bolt, it's gonna keep it nourished, it's gonna put out roots, and from those roots, it's gonna put out a new cabbage plant like this. So you can have these cabbages early, as soon as the cool weather, you know, they get hit with a little cool weather and fall touches them, you can have these. This has been growing all spring and it's been growing into the summer. So I'm gonna plant another one you need to plant this in um, some rich soil. This is poo. This is a combination of um, steer manure and compost. And this compost is still hot. You gotta put this in a hot compost. It doesn't work in a soil that's not nutritious. When this cabbage hits this, it's gotta feel like, oh my God, it's perfect. And in the summertime, if it ends up being shaded out, it's not really a big deal because um, summer's going to get a little bit too hot for it or your summer may already be too hot for it. But you want it in a spot that as soon as it gets cool, uh, it'll, it'll get enough sun to be able to make it in those cool short days of your fall weather. Um, brassicas don't need a ton of sun. They can take partial sun. So... If you can get four hours of sun, that's fine. And so that's why I'm planting it near these other crops. And these are pumpkin crops. And what I'm doing is just pushing this back. I don't know if this one is good enough size or not, but see, I just got a little bit there and that part will root in and this part will just stay there alive because it won't die. And um, hopefully I'll get another cabbage out of it. Now I'm going to take you over to where I have another one growing underneath the shade of some sweet potatoes. So you're seeing a key here is I try to shade them out. Like if you look at this spot, that cabbage is growing underneath a tree. So it's getting a lot of um, shade and it's fine. It's getting parcel shade all day long, no problem. And it's growing just fine. So we'll go and I'll show you another one that's not so Get far. in the rich soil and water it as you would a plant that's already established and it will grow these mini cabbages. You can pick the leaves at any time you want to. I'm leaving those leaves because the longer the leaves get during summer, the hottest part of the summer for me is coming. July and August is the hottest part of the summer. And in that hot part of the summer, if the um, squash doesn't cover the cabbage, you know, whatever it can do to make it through. I gotta try to do that, okay? Let's see. I wanna make sure we have this. I'm trying to be as clear as I can, so some of you might say I'm being repetitive. Stick it 
on some soil that is extremely rich. This is compost. The compost is not completely processed. I put this steer manure and compost down um, maybe three weeks ago. So it's not fully composted. It is a hot compost. And as it goes down further, these cabbage can take this hot compost. I, I really believe the center of the cabbage could probably grow in just all a compost that's, that's built up just of manure because of the piece that you're putting in there. I believe it would sprout roots out of it. But minus 50. Okay, I found my other one that I planted a few weeks ago. See how it's kind of starting to produce leaves? Yeah. It's not, it didn't turn brown. It's still green, and you can see the little leaves coming out of it. So that's just a one inch part. I don't want to pull it out because if I pull it out, it's going to have to start growing again, you know. So I don't want to stop it because it's summertime. This one gets a lot more shade. I'm going to pull this out so you can see. It actually put itself behind this pumpkin. This is a summer squash. So this is what it sees and it just gets indirect sunlight and that's all it wants because I didn't put it there it dug itself into the ground I know you guys think plants can't move they can dig roots in and move in fact I'm gonna prove it to you that's the base of a cauliflower plant in the fall garden in the spring garden early spring garden when it wasn't hot it was growing right there. It's not dead. I didn't cut it down. It moved to underneath the lemon tree. I'm not making this up. I got another one I'll show you that did the same thing. Not this same plant, but another plant in the Brassica family that moved to a shadier location. These carrots, I don't know if they're reaching for the sun or the shade. I can't tell because it's sunnier where they came from, but they moved. They were growing straight up in the air. I'm not making this up. I believe they move towards whatever light they need. If it's more light right enough. under there, you probably think, well, nothing would grow under there. You see that purple cane there? That is the cabbage. It was growing straight up and down right in this spot all fall, spring, I'm sorry, winter and spring. And you think it's dead. No, it's not dead. It just decided that it's better over here in the shade. And it, it grew over here, it flowered. Now it's turned to a cabbage tree. I think it's gonna be perennial because the flowers are gone and it's got branches coming up underneath from these areas. But it decided it was too much sun over here and who's gonna deny themselves a cabbage tree, you know? It found a spot, this is where it flowered and I thought, oh, she flowered and she's dying. She made her seed and decided, oh, I'm still good, <laughs> you know? So I believe that plants move. I just do. I didn't knock it over, guys. I'm just making my point. So I've been talking about this easy way to get your fall cabbage started. And one of mine, there's so many growing here that I feel like I need to take this one out because it's shade. This one right here because I think it's shading. Another one. So you get so many. I think it is. We'll see. Let's dig down in here. So we got that one. I think this is another one here. And so I think when I get this one out, I'm going to take this one right here out. There we go. And that was so easy. This is like a mother plant that is creating all these little cabbages. Okay, so there it is. And you can see clearly, I'm not making this up. I got another one coming on here. This was the center of a cabbage that I just stuck in here. If you're in an area, you don't have enough time to grow cabbage from seed, but you have an old cabbage and you didn't eat the center, the center will grow you new cabbages. Now this one, I took the whole center out. Lately, I've only been taking out chunks. So like I would cut off that piece right there and then that would give me one, the smaller piece will only give you one cabbage. This was like half, a half the cabbage and then just stuck the um, whole center in there, cut out the heart 
And I don't know how many cabbages I'm going to get off this. I really don't know. We'll find out together. I don't know. But what I'm thinking, what I'm doing now is I'm cutting off the bigger ones and leaving the smaller ones so that because this one here is ready to yeah I think that one's ready I don't think they will get as big as um, regular cabbage but guys this is cabbage okay yummy yummy cabbage and um you see I have let's check and see how many cabbages do I have left I have one two three I don't know I, I think that's another one three and four yeah there might be five on there I don't know but I'm gonna harvest them as they get to a medium size and um, keep this cabbage going <laughs> Guess what? I'm still here. Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.